Hello guys, welcome back to Bible with the Daily Lover. Last time, Bible chapter 3 was chapter 17, Exodus 1 from the rock. Today we're looking at chapter 18. I think this little, little guy needs some Jesus. Get the out of his room, man. Jethro visits Moses. Hopefully this guy visits heaven soon. Now Jethro, the priest of Midian, and his father in law Moses heard of everything God had done for Moses. And for his people Israel, and how the Lord brought his people out of Egypt. After Moses sent away his wife Zipporah, his father in law Jethro received her and her two sons. One son was named Jehoshaphat. Moses said, I have become a foreigner in a foreign land. And the other was named Eliza. He fetched her. Said, My father. God, who is my helper? He saved me from the sword of Pharaoh. Jethro, Moses' father in law, together with Moses' son and wife, came to him in the, in the wilderness, where he was camped near the mountain of God. Jethro has sent a word to him I, your father in law, Jethro, am coming to you with your wife and her two sons. So Moses went out to meet his father in law and bowed and kissed him. They greeted each other and then went into the tent. Moses told his father-in-law about everything that I had done to Pharaoh and Egyptians for Israel's sake, and about the hardship they had met along the way, and how the Lord had saved them. Jethro was delighted to hear about all the good things the Lord had done for Israel in recruiting them and rescuing them from the land of the Egyptians. He said, Praise be to the Lord, who rescued you from the land of the Egyptians and the Pharaoh, and who rescued the people from the land of the Egyptians. Now, to know that the Lord is greater than all the other gods. He did this to those who had treated Israel arrogantly. Then Jethro, Moses' father in law, brought a burnt offering and other sacrifices to God. And everyone came with all the elders of Israel to eat meat with Moses' father in law in the presence of God. The next day, Moses took a seat to serve as judge to the people. And they stood around him from morning to evening. When his father-in-law saw all Moses was doing for the people, he said, What is this you are doing for the people? Why are you alone, says the judge? All the people sat around you from morning to evening. Moses answered him, Because the people come to me to seek God's will. Whenever they dispute, it is brought to me and I decide between the parties and inform them of God's decree and instructions. Moses' father-in-law replied, what are you doing is not good. You and these people who come to you will only wear yourselves out. The work is too heavy for you. You cannot handle it alone. Listen now to me and I'll give you some advice. And may God be with you. You must be the people's representative before God and bring their disputes to him. Teach them his decrees and instructions. And show them the way they should live and how they ought to behave. But select capable men for the people, men who fear God, Trustworthy men who hate dishonest gain, and appoint them as officials over thousands or hundreds, hundreds, filthy fifties and tens. Let them serve as judges for the people all the times. But let them be in every difficult case to you, simple cases they can stand themselves. How to make your load lighter, because they will share it with you. If you do this and God so commands, you will be able to stand the strain, and all the people will go home satisfied. Moses listened to his father in law and did everything he said. He chose capable men from Israel and made them leaders of people, officials over thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens. He served the judges few of the times. In the difficult cases they brought to Moses, but the simpler ones they decided by themselves. Then Moses sent his father in law in on his way, and Jethro returned to his own country. Thank you all for listening. Especially you, you little bugger. <coughs>